Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and I'm just, I'm just blown away. Look at that smirk on Nappa. The smirk of a great unit, of course. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and knock out the, uh, LR, uh, Nappa and Vegeta exchange character EZA. Um, I think that their character seems decent. Um, I, I would say decent. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, in the really tough fights, are they going to help out so much? I think if things go the right way, they can, which does make me feel like I I'll like their easy, right? They at least have the power to help against, like, Fusion, Zamasu, and Omega and these characters. And, I mean, at least being an asset in those fights is, like, what you could really ask for. So, I think that Vegeta and Nappa have the easiest easy ever. Like, I, I think this, this is the one. That is actually the easiest EZA of all time. By the way, we now get this very helpful thing, right, where you could see uh, the characters that are... Well, okay, okay. The boost characters they're showing us here are um, LRs, because you need the legendary power link to actually do damage to LR EZAs. But the actual characters that we're going to want to bring, who will be able to reduce the damage of the boss, um, are these characters right here. Earth Bread Fighters. And, I mean, that's that should be all we need to talk about, right? Earth Bread Fighters. There's any number of 50 million combinations you could use. Remember, you need LRs linked together um, in order to activate the legendary power uh, link and to bypass the boss's damage reduction, right? But, uh, I mean, it's, it's just, you'll be able to do whatever you want to with this. Like, there's, there's no player that will struggle with this. Because Earthbred Fighters is every Piccolo, Goku, Gohan, Trunks, like, they're all here. So, I, I, again, you, you could build any numerous teams uh, or setups, and you're going to be able to destroy it. I'm just doing this. Um, a Gohan and Goten-led uh, Goku family team, I think, should suffice. Uh, just using a lot of tech LRs right here, but again, there's there's so much we could do. Um, you know, we, we we just have so much. Like, I, I could just go ahead and play some, uh, whatchamacallit. Like, like, we could use, like, 23rd World Tournament Goku as our leader. You know, remember, there's characters like Orange Piccolo and stuff like that. This is, again, just going to be really one of the easiest, I think, easy A's of all time. Um, I, I can't really imagine we're going to struggle with this too much. Now, um, I, I would like to sort of mention, too. So, right now in JP Dokkan, um, we just got kind of, I mean, kind of a big update. Uh, like, there was, I mean, we could call it a big update, right? They added the missions for the ninth anniversary, which was very good. Uh, like, the ninth anniversary fan meetup missions. I think that those were um, actually pretty pretty decent content, right? Um, that is what we're always asking for, right? Is for them to add missions to the most difficult fights in the game. I think that's, like, really something they should do weekly or monthly. Every celebration... There should be, you know, three or four missions added to various... You know, they gave us one to the 8th uh, the anniversary event. Um, we got one added to um, the uh, uh, Dismal Future Red Zone. We got one added to the Birth of the Shadow Dragons event. Like, they could so easily do that, I think, for every single celebration, right? So that's good. Um, we got the Vegeta and Nappa EZA. We also have um, the Nappa Chain Battle. We got all this stuff. I do not know what they're doing next week I, I i i've got no clue besides lr prime battle kid gohan i i, I like so um another video i'm gonna put out in, in a little bit what we'll do is the the again the prime battle kid gohan sort of like easy a campaign has been announced as his legendary campaign right his the prime battle lr easy campaign uh, i like are they actually going to just only give us that campaign, like, next week? I would not be shocked. Um, I do not think we're going to be getting a Part 2 LR. Like, like November, this is not a month where we get a Part 2 LR. Maybe global, because they're, you know, trying to move, you know, a little bit faster towards a global sync. Uh, maybe global will slide in Omega this month. I think that is conceivable, for sure. That global could slide in uh, Omega early. But on JP, I, I don't think we're going to get, like, a banner um, until Heroes. I think Heroes will come, and then that will be kind of like the, the other summonable characters we're going to get in November. 
Uh, so it's going to be, I think, very, very quiet for Dokkan uh, for a little bit moving forward here, right? Where we're not going to have, like, really, like, the, the most amount of things happening ever. Um, I just, I, I really, I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. So I'm a little nervous, but I mean, this is, it's like I've mentioned in several videos, right? Like, I think that the, you know, the arrival of Spider-Man 2 was perfect timing, right? Like, it drops, and then, you know, people, like, Dokkan doesn't really have much going on, so you can you hop on Spider-Man 2, uh, play Call of Duty, do whatever, because, like, Dokkan is not going to have, like, super, like, crazy things going on. Um, I, I, I would say probably for, for quite a while, right? We'll see what the uh, Dokkan Fest is going to be at the end of the month, too. Now, in years past, the Dokkan Fest has always directly led into the Christmas Carnival LR. For years in a row, that was, uh, like, a, a, a certainty, right? Like, we had, um, you know, Android 13, which led into Spirit Bomb Goku. We had Bojack, which led into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. We had um, Android 17 and 18, which led to the LR Future Gohan and Trunks. But then last year, they kind of flipped things a bit in that they gave us Dokkan Fest Yamcha, and then the Carnival LR was um, the uh, like the LR Goku, Gohan, Piccolo, Vegeta, and Trunks from the Hachiak special. So I'm not really too sure what we could expect to see coming. Um, I will say I, I really hope that we get a villain Dokkan Fest. I mean, this really truly has been a year where Dokkan has just given no damn about villain characters at all, man, it feels like. I I don't know. I mean, Fusion Zamasu is very good. Piccolo Jr., of course, is very good. I mean, Piccolo Jr. has been the best T.U.R., I think, since he released in April. But, uh, you know, it's like we... They left Worldwide Download Celebration and gave us 17 and 18 and then Gohan and Piccolo. Like, I mean, bro... And even the Part 2 LR for 17 and 18 was Ribrian, Kakunsa, and Rosie. It's another super class character. Like, they gotta give us some villains somewhere, man. <laughs> the, the good thing, though, is that uh, we had a super class mission against, you know, from the ninth anniversary fan meetup thing against Sin, who is still a really tough boss. But, you know, we, we, could, we, we were able to use super class. For the villain mission, they sent us into the eighth anniversary event, which is not... I mean, turn one, uh, the Goku and Vegeta... Their damage is, like, it's, like, 900,000, right? Like, Goku Black, like, his turn one damage is, like, damn near, like, 1.6 million, isn't it? So, it's, like, like they're, like, not even a threat compared to the Dismal Future Red Zone. I thought that that was so funny. Like, the devs know. They're, like, yeah, um, we didn't really make, like, you know, the craziest, uh, villain characters of all time could you imagine if it, the villain mission was like omega or something like that like that would be tough it, with a full villain team like i'm not saying it's oh it's impossible or something like that but it would be tough i mean maybe for me because i i am um of course challenging myself with the the no item runs right but like a, a lot of the difficult events i mean if you just like so like fusion zamasu you pop you know a double weiss turn one you you know fusion zamasu if you have, like, strong, like, characters, like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, I mean, they could take away Fusion Zamasu, you know, 70% of his health in one turn. Just them. So, it's like, you know, you could open up against Red Zone Fusion Zamasu, double Whis, and then you, you could be good to go. Like, you could be cooking there. So, it's like, if you're popping items, like, a lot of these fights aren't tough. So once you take away the items, that's where it's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, it's we're getting tough. Because the one I'm going to be going up against is, um... Uh, Power Beyond Super Saiyan is the mission they gave to Fusion Zamasu. That is going to be real, real rough because a lot of the Power Beyond Super Saiyan characters just aren't built good enough uh, to compete with Fusion Zamasu, right? We're going to be relying on a lot of, like, uh, EZA, Blue Gogeta, and LR God Goku and stuff like that, like Dodge characters, because, uh, you, you know, Zamasu just hits too hard, too fast uh, in order to be able to tank that. So, I am really glad that they gave us those missions, by the way. Like, seriously. I, like, that's something people always talk about. I, you know what's funny, though, is I did... Okay, I, I said this once, where I was like, I feel like Dokkan gives too many rewards for, like, for free. Like, it's just like logging in, like, you get most of, like, Dokkan rewards. Like, the missions, typically, 
like, you know, besides, like, you know, for something for, like, a very difficult content fight, most of the missions are very basic, right? Like, it's just do a couple of stages, right? It's not anything crazy, and you get, like, all, pretty much, like, a lot of the free currency that Dokkan will give out, right? Like, you don't actually have to do that much, typically, to get a lot of the rewards. And I said they could just take a lot of that and just attach it to some of these, like, Red Zone missions and stuff like that. And it, it's, like, what they did was... They didn't do that, where they took that and attached it to Red Zone missions. They kind of just, like, gave us the missions that don't really have much of a reward, right? It, it's just, like, Z-Swords and shit like that, um, besides the main ticket itself, which you could use to apply to, like, go to the, the ninth anniversary fan meetup, right? And I saw people, a lot of people were really upset at how weak the rewards for the missions are, but, like, I don't, I, like, I still felt like it's it's missions to do, I don't know. Like, I didn't really feel like I... I mean, I'm obviously doing content on it, so it's a little different for me, but I saw a lot of people just be like, oh, no stones? Well, screw this. And I was like, okay, well, hmm. I guess that makes sense. I, I can uh, I can understand, like, the, the line of thinking there, but I'll take... Even if the, the missions give almost nothing, I'd still rather they do that than not do it. Hopefully, that's something that they'll go back to the well for, right? It's give us more... Uh, missions like that, because I did have a lot of fun yesterday doing most of those missions, um, especially, you know, using some new characters, stuff like that. All right, so stage 10, uh, certainly we're going to be going up against Vegeta, yeah? Well, we we got to be going up against Vegeta. Uh, Vegeta, I think, is going to be pretty impressive. Like, if you use this character and you get Vegeta out, I do think that Vegeta is probably going to be pretty damn good. Um, they, I think they did a good job with him, because... Outside, Omega is kind of like the only the one fight where Vegeta might lose his guard. Because he gets guard for his first two rotations. That probably should be sufficient in 99.9% .9 of scenarios, right? Like, I don't think it'll be very common where Vegeta's guard is going to wear out. Yeah, okay, and then now we're fighting the Vegeta, yeah. It, it's so funny, you look at this character. Like, this character really has such incredible animations, too. The, the Vegeta and Nappa, like... I feel like Nappa's animations look uh, pretty good. Um, and then, like, the exchange, of course, looks good. And then Vegeta's animations look good. Vegeta's animations is kind of a bummer because it's, like, most of Saiyan Saga Vegeta, like, most of what he does is in these two yellow coin LRs, right? The Vegeta and Nappa exchange character and then the LR Gradic Vegeta. Like, pretty much almost everything he does. Like, what... I'm trying to think of, like, attacks he does, because when he's shooting the volley of Key Blast at Kid Gohan, that's in Great Vegeta. Him doing, the like, the explosion shockwave, that's in the Great Vegeta LR. Like, kind of like the fireballs he shoots at Goku is in this character. Um, his Gallic Gun is in this character as well. Oh, nice! We get the... Cool, cool, cool. Like, like almost all of Vegeta's animations are just in these two, like, these two yellow coin LRs, right? Like, they would almost have to come up with, like, a Dokkan original um, once it's time to actually... Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, like, like once it's time to actually do, like, a Saiyan Saga Dokkan Fest Vegeta, which they have to do. Um, to be fair, some of the animations they could just redo. Like, so, um, the Gallic Gun, that's something that they very easily could just turn into an active skill and have it be voiced, right? Um, I think that's the same thing. We will get a Gohan, uh, a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the fight against Cell. And I, 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 the father-son Gohan would be like an incredible active skill animation where, you know, Goku is like talking to Gohan and stuff like that. Like, I could literally right now picture, like, I, I, I there's a scene, like, I could tweet it out of like, Gohan is like kind of like struggling. Like, I believe his eyes are closed. He's kind of like looking down. And then the camera shows Goku coming in like the side, like he's on the side of Gohan like, talking to Gohan. Like, I know when we get the father-son Kamehameha active skill, like, that shot has got to be in there, right? And we'll get, like, Goku talking to him and stuff like that. That's, like, kind of, like, the stuff they could do to redo some of these animations. Because the AGL LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the father-son Kamehameha and that character looks very good, right? But it's obviously, like, they'll... By just, like, doing little differences, they could redo a lot of this. And we have seen where they redo a lot of it. And it's, like... There's another video I could have made where we got info yesterday that it's like, it, 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 it's, it's insane. It's like 13% of all the revenue Dragon Ball as a brand has ever produced 
is from Dokkan or something. Like, it's an, it's an insane number to think about, considering Dragon Ball came out in 84 is when Dragon Ball came out, and then Dokkan came out in 2015. It's 30 years later, man. So, it's it's really nuts. So, it, it, ab unbelievably crazy. Well, uh, there we go. Uh, let me know what you guys think about uh, Vegeta and Nappa Ize, some of the things we've talked about here. Uh, again, a lot of stuff for me to make videos on. We'll have a lot coming up today. We'll see how good the Vegeta and Nappa Ize is. I think that they're going to be a fairly competitive character. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.